Staffing shortages, not enough equipment and hospital beds at or near capacity. The COVID-19 pandemic has been hell on Colorado's doctors and nurses. And now 21 months in, those on the front lines are feeling the burnout more than ever. Tonight, Denver 7 Sloan Dickey has a look at how those who heal others are now having to heal themselves. I think everybody's tired. It's been nearly two years since COVID took siege of Colorado's hospitals along with healthcare systems all over the globe. There are hopes that it would, you know, would slow down. It wouldn't last as long as it did. 21% of nurses plan to leave their positions in the next year, according to a survey by the American Nurses Association. The number one reason is that work is affecting their well being. The intensity of it, I think, has been much more significant than we had anticipated. Now, as the second Christmas in the global pandemic, pandemic nears, Reverend Mike Guthrie, the head chaplain at Presbyterian St. Luke's, sees this not just as a medical crisis, but also a spiritual one. My goal is, is, is to help um, people as they're experiencing spiritual distress. He put together a five-point plan to help heal those who heal others. He calls it the Resiliency Workshop. My hope in, in all of this is that um, is just to equip our our staff with these resilience antibodies. The workshop has five basic pillars focused on mindfulness, personal integrity, self-validation, processing stress, and self-care. Each one, he says, are crucial in lifting up a community impacted so deeply from the pandemic. As a profession, I hope that we can find our way back um, to a, a spot of resiliency. Wendy Manzanares, a nurse manager at Presbyterian St. Luke's, is taking the workshop herself. Sometimes for nurses, you know, if you can't find that mission statement for yourself, just remembering why you wanted to be a nurse. The job over the past two years has been heavy, at times unbearable. This moment, there's still, you know, some trauma that we were experiencing and just that we are also in a healing process as well. But she says little steps in the program, like taking time for gratitude and developing a personal mission statement, have helped her keep going. It's taking, you know, the small wins in very difficult situations. Small wins, pushing through a difficult time. This isn't therapy, it's peer-to-peer -peer support. Together. We are not alone. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.